Hey fellow agents, this is Agent Smith, and we are about to be playing Sam and Max. This is Season 1, Episode 2 for it, called uh, Situation Comedy. And uh, for us, it would be like 4 into this, but anyway, beyond all that. Um, in the previous one, we had the whole thing with Brady Culture, and dealing with the um, soda poppers, and uh, the hypnotism that was going on in that one. So, now we're going to be getting into a new day, new episode because they did this more like a tv show series somewhat so anyway uh don't forget to like and subscribe and check out patreon.com slash asrg if you want to support the channel and put yourself in drawings for monthly uh steam keys and uh yeah other than that let's get this show on the road Change the background to an orange color. I like that. <laughs> Steve Purcell. Situation comedy. <laughs> oh, okay. That's his onion shooter from episode one. I got it. Mm -hmm. ah, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Yes. Yes? Sweet mother of double jeopardy backstroking and butterscotch. We're on our way. Who was it? The yeah, Girl right. Scouts lawyers again? <laughs> that was the commissioner. You will never guess which unduly famous TV personality made the most wanted criminals list this week. Phyllis Diller? Gavin McCloud? Wink Martindale? Close. Myra well, Phyllis Stump, Diller. The darling hawk of daytime talk. Myra? Mm. As in America's mom? The woman who told Tom Hanks to get a haircut? Surely you jest. She's holding her audience <laughs> hostage and giving them valuable gifts against their collective will. I don't normally endorse the use of the word dastardly, but this is clearly <laughs> dastardly. <laughs> I think. We've got to drive over to the station right away. We're at our earliest convenience. Great. Yeah. I've been yeah, itching yeah, to bust some skulls since they canceled my so-called life. <laughs> he likes that show, huh? So I don't believe there's much else you One can of do. One these days, we're going to finish that game. I'm still working on getting the rest of the darts from the police impound. Because for the most part, all these things are pretty much the same reaction. It might be a different thing on the TV. It's a new month. I see that. Welcome back, America. Today, believe. three and a half of my most special episode ever. You don't want to miss any of our exciting guests coming up this hour. Plus, everyone in the audience is going to be getting a lifetime supply of non-dairy creamer. Ooh. We don't need non-dairy creamer. We need sleep. <laughs> oh, I see. You were all thrilled when I gave you cars, then all expense paid vacations, and then home entertainment centers, but now, after I worked so hard and sacrificed so much, you'd rather sleep? <laughs> it's all about you, isn't it? I oh, guess yeah. nothing I ever do is good enough for you. Maybe. Maybe we'll start using non-dairy creamer someday. That's more like it. You see? There's lots <laughs> more fun to come, so stick around, America, and sit up straight. Nobody trusts a sloucher. Nobody. Good old TV. It's the only way I still feel well adjusted. Well, at least that gives us a clue as to what's going on, too. 2002 was a great year for calendars. I'm glad we stocked up. Yeah, see, it's the same conversations as it was before. I don't think there's much difference. Anybody home? Guess not, not. Around. not around today, huh? What's this? Oh, Brady Culture's hair. <laughs> oh, Brady Culture's hair. It makes for an unwieldy but oh so enchanting memento of our first case in a long while. He yeah. howled like a sick wallaby when I shaved it off him. Good times. <laughs> Look like a sponge. That's pretty cool. Alright. And I got my salad shooter, I mean my uh, onion shooter and my gun. We'll go ahead and uh 
head down to Bosco's, as we usually would do. Everything's got kind of an orangey look to it. Out of the way, you... Alien Love Triangle Times. Looks hmm. like they're sold out. That's different. Has been Brady culture behind bars. He finally found a way to become famous. The police blotter. <laughs> the thing says Secret Cub Scout. Secret Cub Scout. S arsenal discovered. Like, or uncovered, excuse me. She got in the machine today. It looks like candy, but I'm pretty sure it's fish tank gravel again. <laughs> I've had worse. <laughs> oh man, I tell you. Yeah, Secret Cub Scout Arsenal uncovered. The worst news. What ho, Samuel Maximilian? Oh what lord. The? You're probably wondering how I know your names. Not really. It's me, Bosco. What's with the slanted soup strainer, Bosco? Yeah. Bosco? I know not that moniker. I am Lord Reginald Rumplebottom, Earl of Dukedom the huh. well, Third. Sam, what language mistake. is he speaking? I'm not sure, Max, but I think it might be English. <gasps> <laughs> No, really. What made you convert to British? It's because everybody's got an in for me, that's why! Yeah, we heard. I had to get a disguise to throw them off the trail. Oh, they'll never find me now. They wouldn't even know where to begin to look. Clever clogs! I haven't quite done that yet, but I don't know what he's referring to when he said that he already knew about that. It's weird. What sick forces of evil are bedeviling you this time? It's the skin bodies, man! They're after me! Skin, skin bodies? bodies? Sounds like a pack of belligerent nudists. Yeah. Oh, the skin bodies are like skinheads, but ten times worse. Oh, sure they're okay. not a hundred times worse? Yeah, maybe a hundred times, maybe a million. Okay. These skin bodies, what exactly are they doing to you? They're stealing my, I mean, uh, pinching, my shaving cream. Of all the things of yours they could pinch, why the shaving cream? Yeah. So they can oh, yeah. shave their bodies, of course. Yeah, that's right. Of course. <laughs> what happened to that? Not to be rude, Security, but why yeah. isn't your fancy pants defense system stopping these skin bodies? Well, after the whole video delivery conspiracy, I figured I better build something to keep people from bringing stuff into my store. So? So, I needed to borrow some of the high-tech detecting parts from BTEG. Oh, okay. Meaning nothing stopping people from taking stuff out of the store anymore. Dash it all! I knew I forgot something! Whoops. Okay. We want to buy something. Hmm, yes, hmm. Uh, quite so, quite so. What do you got? What have you got? Well, there is still one kind of shaving cream the blooming skin bodies haven't got yet. Oh, yeah, I love shaving. That's hmm. funny. I've never seen you shave. Yeah, right. I didn't mean myself. Oh, okay. And I have a most peculiar device behind the counter. Mm, peculiar device. What peculiar device are you so eager to pawn off on us this time? It's the latest in Bosco Tech innovation. A delightful invention I like to call a chemical-based voice modulator. Voice modulator? What's hmm. that? I do believe it's self-explanatory. Modulate your we voice. We don't really have time to explain it to ourselves. Why don't you just explain it to us? Well... <laughs> it alters the frequency of your voice molecules. Very useful, very useful. Ah, oh, there you go. We'll take your last can of shaving cream, old chap. Splendid, spiffing, tickety-boo. Just bring it to the counter. <laughs> tickety-boo, okay. Do you have any complimentary fresh garlic? No. <laughs> Do you have any fine leather jackets? I love no. doing this. Do you have any gumballs the size of your head? No. <laughs> Do you have any plus two plate armor of limitless squeezability? Oh, that'll help. No. Dang. 
Do you have any Pez dispensers with the head of infamous Mexican revolutionary Pancho Villa? No. Oh, man. Do you have any ketchup? No. Uh, oh, wait. Got you. Blast. <laughs> Drat. Dash it all. Do you have any complimentary fresh oh, garlic? Oh, okay. That cycles no. it back around. <laughs> Silliness. Nothing for us right now. Indeed. Indeed. Hands in the air, Bosco. You're coming with us. Good heavens! What is the meaning of this? We're taking <laughs> you in for masquerading as a man of class and distinction. Yeah. What the devil? Surely you chest. Yes, surely we do. Surely. On the right side, now you can add the police to your long list of paranoia-induced nightmare subjects. Oh, yeah. Pissaw, piffle, pissaw. What you say to me? <laughs> Thanks, Bosco. Hip, hip, honey nut cherry. <laughs> well, let's get the shaving cream then. I could use a shave. I'll say. Your five o'clock shadow goes clear to your ankles. Paws off, pig! Dog! Pig dog! The skin bodies rule the streets! Yeah. Oh. Black! Fucker! Blimey! Ballot! The little bladder did it again! After him! I mean, uh, tell me who. <laughs> Tally-ho, fool! Alright, we're tallying, ho. Jeez. Gotta get that shaving cream back for him. Maybe he'll help us out. Stinkies. Oh, yeah, I see him driving back and forth there. Yep. Alien love Where triangle. are we going, Sam? Hey! <laughs> the skin body can't be stopped. <laughs> After those rats. After those rats. <laughs> National spin the bottle competition on the poster in the background. There they are. Let's get them. How do those laughably small wheels move so fast? Right. You'll never catch us. The skin body can't be stopped. Can I control this yet? Not that cool. Take the wheel, little buddy. I thought you'd never ask. Messed up. <laughs> the skin buddies can't be stopped. Shoot them, Sam. I'm trying, but they have good reflexes. You can't dodge my shots forever. Watch it. The skin buddies can't be stopped. Maybe if I shoot him just from here. Dang. I'm trying to get him into the manhole. There we go. <laughs> hey, the shaving cream! Got it. Okay, hold on tight, little buddy. Mama. <laughs> Well, it's ours now, so I'm going to go ahead and keep it. Let's go ahead and talk to Sybil and see what she's up to. Looks like she's now a tabloid rag writer. Just changes her job as whenever she wants, huh? Hello. Sam! Max! How nice to see you! I don't suppose you have any candid photos of little green men feeling frisky, do you? What? It's my new career. I'm a tabloid publisher specializing in the thoughtful analysis of groundbreaking news of interest to myself and others like me. What's it called? The Alien Love Triangle Times. Okie doke. So you're a publisher now? What happened to psychotherapy? Yeah. I've always had a fascination with the suppressed and the sensual, and for telling people too much about both. Publishing the Alien Love Triangle Times is a logical extension of all my previous careers. Okay. Except maybe Vatican spokesperson. So you do still do Are that? Are you doing any psychotherapy on the side? Only on space aliens. I guess that narrows oh. your clientele huh. quite a bit. Oh, yeah, no, no not really. <laughs> How about a quick analysis, for old times sake? Oh, alright. Think of a number between one and four. Three and a half. You're selectively audio averse. I don't like the sound of that. Okay. Weird. What was it you said about a photo? 
My new tabloid, The Alien Love Triangle Times, needs a cover photo of an extraterrestrial biological entity, or alien as the unwashed masses calls them, caught getting cozy with some of the locals. Hmm. Shouldn't Shouldn't be I'd too like hard, the record to show that although I support you as a friend, your latest project makes my skin decidedly crawly. Me too, and I like it. Well, there's nothing like good, hard-nosed journalism. You said it. It's time to find out the real answers to the real questions. I highly doubt anybody really like what wants to know those. what those poor cattle do to deserve that? Yeah, right. No. What do aliens do for romance? Do they love? How do they get their otherworldly thrills? By playing slots in Kino? That'd explain why they're always seen in Nevada. <sighs> yeah, I suppose so. Have you learned anything interesting since you started this, uh, magazine? I learned why Elvis had such an otherworldly voice. Elvis was really? not an alien. Sure he was. He just wore makeup to cover his emerald green skin. Oh, Frankly, please. Sybil, this project is disturbing, as well as distressingly intimate. Like seeing Stephen King getting a hot butter massage. Mm. Oh, you saw last week's issue. <laughs> it's already in there. Is anybody else an alien that we might not know about? Dr. Phil. Oh, well, weird. that goes without saying. Weird voice change there. What about this so photo? So you're looking still? for a cover photo of little green men canoodling, right? Yeah, though I'm kind of desperate at this point. Basically, I can use anything as long as there are three beings in the shot and at least one of them's an alien. It is the Alien Love Triangle Times, after all. Gotcha, gotcha. Got it. But we need someone green and three people. I don't know what we'll for. Be back. Or Keep how we'll get this shot, sorry, but... Get this eventually here. A mimeograph. This appears to be some sort of reproductive device. Yeah. It's a mimeograph. I use it to print my tabloid. Yep. Homemade papers. Very convenient if you haven't got a bulletin board. Just what she's using it for. She's got a story here about two hygienists from Walla Walla and an amorphous Saturnian slime mold. Is that the one where they walk into a bar at the beginning? Laundromat. <laughs> but you're close. <laughs> That's a joke. Any skeletons in her closet? Oh, okay. Nothing useful in here. All right, well, let's get on out of here and head over to the TV station so we can see what's going on with this case that we got. Going, Sam. To the TV studio. The TV studio. Goody. Well, here we are, Max. The TV station with programs too old to be contemporary, too new to be retro, but consistently derivative enough to be popular. W A R P. Television so mindless, you can't help but watch. <laughs> Oddly quiet in here. Mysteriously so. Well, let's find this Myra character and smack some good old-fashioned sense into her. I don't care if we smack it into her or smack it out of her, just so long as there's smacking involved. You yeah. crack me up, little buddy. That's why you keep him around, man. Barrel Haven set. The Barrel Haven. From whence comes this storybook set? Clearly from a work of unparalleled artistic vision and emotional expressiveness. Hmm. No wonder I haven't seen it. <laughs> All right, uh, here we go. Hello. Stand aside, casually attired stagehand. We're Sam and Max, freelance police. We've come to save some pathetic hostages from the clutches of... Okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. Number one, I'm not a stagehand. I am the director. The okay. director! Could I fool? Number two, we're no longer holding the auditions for animal cops with crippling mental disabilities and a lust for dance. Oh no, oh. we're not actors. You got that right. I don't think I've ever seen worse acting in my entire life. And yes, I have seen Keanu Reeves' performance in Toast, the musical. Ooh. Sam, I think my hypersensitive ego may need stroking. Don't look at me. Next! Who's next? Okay, okay, jeez lady. 
You don't seem to understand. We're highly untrained police officers. Highly untrained. Look, hats off for dedication, guys, but I'm just not buying the police act. I feel so invalidated. But we are. I'm just not buying the police act. We're looking for Myra Stump, the darling hawk of- Do not mention that name in my presence. Which name? Myra or Stump? Either and or both. <laughs> What's your beef with Myra? Let's just say Myra and I have creative differences. I'm creative and she isn't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, what was your question? Uh... You and Myra, why the hate? Look, Myra runs her show her way and I run every other show my way. If she doesn't want me on her set, I could care less. Oh, you mean okay. you couldn't care less. If you could care less, then you do care some, which doesn't really... No, I was right. That's I could truth. care less because I care even less about what you're saying right now. Oh, burn! Quiet, Dang. But <laughs> he is right. <laughs> if you say you could care less, then that implies that you actually care quite a bit about it and you could care less. What are you doing here, anyhow? What am I doing here? I'm holding auditions for Midtown Cowboys. What are oh. you doing here? Uh, Midtown Cowboys? The critically panned but publicly adored sitcom about two cattle ranches trying to make it in Midtown Manhattan? Yes, well summarized. Hmm. You're hiring extras? No, I'm hiring the stars. Really? The two main characters went on Myra a couple days ago and I haven't heard from them since. I need replacements ASAP. Sam, did you hear that? If we can pass one lousy audition, sitcom stardom will finally be ours! Stardom. Rocketing to fame for the most insubstantial of reasons. That truly is the American dream. Let's do it. We'd like to apply for that instant stardom you promised? You want to audition? Well, if there were anybody else here, I'd tell you to forget it, but okay. All right! What do we do? I'm going to have you play a scene from Old Yeller. Oh. Tell me you've seen it. I'm not into horror movies. It's the classic boy gets dog, dog gets rabies, boy shoots dog story. Max, I want you to play the boy. Yes! Okay. Boy! That is so me! And Sam, you play the dog. Oh. Well, that makes sense. Okay, Sam, ready. I need you to act like you've got full-blown rabies. Understand? What's my motivation? You're a mad dog! Now! Show me, rabbit. Um, I think got that shaving cream. No, dig deep. You should be just frothing that. Hmm. Alrighty. Well, I'll get myself some shaving cream. Brilliant. Now that's what I call <laughs> diseased. Thank you. Thank you. First off, I'd like to thank all the little people who... Zip it. Okay, Max, you just realized your dog is walking death, and you'll have to put him down for the good of society. Really? You're sad. You're despondent. Sounds You're like great. he's happy for that. Now, show me the emotion. Uh, boo-hoo? You oh, call that emotion? Now. I've seen Myra show more emotion, and she ought to be declared a national Botox reserve. Grief, I said. Give me grief. Uh, I got you, buddy. That'll be <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Perfect. Now, the fateful moment has arrived. Despite your immense grief, you must put your beloved companion out of his misery. Okay. Uh-oh. <gasps> oh. Dang. Idiot. What demonic force possessed you to do that? The demonic force called acting, Sam. You should try it sometime. Good thing I had my anti-hypnosis helmet built into my hat. Or I'd have <laughs> one Smart. too many holes in the head. Bravo. Bravo! Such realism. Such authenticity. I was convinced you were actually shooting him. How did you do the sound effects? You don't want to know. The search for the Midtown Cowboys <laughs> is over! You're hired. Head to the set next door and we can begin filming immediately. Let's hurry, Sam. We only have 14 minutes and 55 seconds of fame left. Yeah, better hurry up. <laughs> Cool, so I'll be doing the Midnight Cowboys thing, I guess. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead, before I get into that, and go ahead and stop here right now. If you guys are enjoying this, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell to know about when new episodes, particularly my streams coming, uh, come out. And if you're interested in helping out the channel, check out Patreon.com, where you can earn, or win, should I say, uh, free Steam keys and drawings that I do monthly there. 
uh, to for those who are supporting my channel with me. So anyhow, I'll see you guys in the next video and have a great day. Hey fellow Asians, don't forget to like and subscribe by clicking the button in the center of the screen. You can also find the last video by clicking the button to the left and you can take a look at some of the other stuff I've done by clicking the button to the right. Hope you enjoyed the video and have a good day.